Let's simply love of God. I welcome you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a word in season with Pastor Flourish. God bless you for clicking this video. You are not here by accident. God brought you here for a purpose. Please, people of God, if today is your first time here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. God will richly bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, another prophetic moment. Good tidings, I bring your way once again. Yes, child of God. Yes, beloved of God, I'm here to tell you that your word to time has expiring dates. Amen. Yes, it has expiring dates. The date God has allotted for your word to time will surely manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. No power will be able to extend it. Yes, you have waited. All that you are waiting for is about to manifest in the name of Jesus. Beloved of God, each and every one of us, we all have our waiting period. So whatever you are waiting upon the law to do in your life as an aspiring date, so you must wait. God will say he makes all things beautiful in his time. Yes, all things will be beautiful in his time. So your waiting time for it to be over, he has a date. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus, that date will manifest in the hurry in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, child of God, your waiting time, there is power in waiting. Yes, if it's God's will for you to wait, wait, there is power in waiting. Yes, there is great gain in waiting. There is healing in waiting. When you wait upon the Lord, God is. There is healing in waiting. There is empowerment in waiting. God will say, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wheels like eagles. Yes, there is empowerment in waiting. There is restoration in waiting. Yes, there is no way you wait upon God for God to restore that he will not restore. There is restoration in waiting. And there is spirit in waiting. Yes, you can recover all that you have lost. Yes, there's speed. You can cover space because there is speed in waiting. There is total victory in waiting. Hallelujah. The Bible says this is the victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. Yes, when you have faith in your waiting period, in your waiting season, is the faith that will keep you going. And is this faith that guarantees your victory in Christ. Yes, in your season of waiting, you will testify because of what God is going to do in your life. You will say it's worth it. Hallelujah. You will definitely testify. God's word says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 18, surely there is an end and your expectation shall not be cut off. Yes, there is always an end to everything. Yes, your waiting time, surely there is an end. Beloved of God, tomorrow belongs to God. Yes, your future belongs to God. You don't know what your tomorrow owes. Only God knows this. Therefore, your tomorrow is bright. Yes, your tomorrow is glorious. Your waiting time will not be in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, if God had proposed, I've chosen to bless you. Nobody can stop it. Yes. Nobody can stop God from blessing you. It is your time. It is your season. Wait because your waiting time has expiring dates in the mighty name of Jesus. And when that expiring date comes, no challenge, no power will be able to stop it in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the grace of God for you, for you to be able to wait. People of God, why wait? Keep serving the Lord. Yes, yes, wait us always save. Save while waiting. And you will see how God will give you a beautiful tomorrow. How your story will change. How things will work out in your favor. How things will end in praise. Beloved of God, while you are waiting, 
Keep serving. Keep working for the Lord. Keep trusting Him. Keep believing Him. Keep loving Him. Keep working for Him. And you will see how things will work out. God bless you, beloved of God. May the peace that only Jesus gives rule and reign in your life now and always. Yes, we will continue in prayers. Amen.